Hello, in this tutorial, I'm going to be showing you how you can fix sold out on Shopify when you are using i2DS. Now, first thing you need to do is, of course, you want to go to your i2DS dashboard and see if the product is connected successfully. You can also reconnect it, like remove the product and import it again from i2DS. Now, these just the basics or like suggestions. Now, I'm going to be showing you exactly how you can fix this problem. OK, so first thing you need to do is you want to click here on the product. OK, now you want to find the products you have a problem with. If all the products you have, like if all these products are out of stock, even though it says here 90, 90 uh, 9,000 in stock, but still when you click on the product, it shows out of stock. I'm going to be showing you how you can fix this problem easily. If all the products are showing out of stock, you just need to select them all here. Okay. And then click on it ed bulk edit. Now, if it's, if it's just one product, you want to click on it. Okay. So let's say that I have a problem with this product because that's exactly what I, I have. Like I have a out of stock problem with this certain product with this product. Now, if you scroll down, you will be able to see the variants. If the product comes with different colors, different sizes, now you just need to select all the variants and then click on bulk edit. Now, after you click on bulk edit, you want to click here. It says columns in the top right. Now, after that, you want to scroll down and select this that says continue selling going out of stock. And also you want to find here stocked at and then also track quantity and you want to find here the i2ds you want to check it okay if it's not if it's not checked okay just check it and then that's it now now what you need to do if the continue selling when out of stock here is not enabled check all of these okay so that's what i'm going to do right now i'm going to check all of these i'm going to click here okay so it's, it's all the variants are checked now the track quantity you want to check it okay if you don't want you can just uncheck all of this all the track quantity you can just uncheck them okay and then here and then after that you want to click on here you will be able to see i2ds okay after that you want to click on ship from this location you want to click on, on on i2ds and then click on ship from this location if you can see it but this track quantity will solve the problem just and check all of these and then click on save make sure you click on continue selling going out of stock now check if the problem is solved or not okay if it's not solved what you need to do here is how you can fix it okay just go to settings at the very bottom left and then you want to click on shipping and delivery now after that you want to click on create a custom profile now you want to name this profile whatever you want customers will not see this by the way so after that you want to click on add products now you want to come you want to add all the products you have a problem with click on done now if you scroll down you will be able to see here i2ds you want to click on it and then click on a new raid for i2ds and then click done and then you want to name the zone whatever you want for example new zone customers will not see this again and then you want to enter here you want to uh, select the market if you, you can also add select different regions different markets here if you click on add more countries and, and regions in markets now if you scroll down you will have to add here the, the shipping price for me i'm just going to enter a 0 0.00 the custom rate the custom rate name standard here then click on done okay so after you click on done you want to add here the shipping zone uh, okay so click on here the shipping zone here then and then click on done the rate you want to also add the rate here the same thing standard and then click done then click on save okay so perfect now what you need to do is to check if the problem is still there or not if this still doesn't work what you need to do is you want to go to your i2ds dashboard and see if the product is synced like perfect like correctly also, like if the product is out of stock on your supplier's website, it will go out of stock on your product on your Shopify. So make sure you check if the product is still exi that is, like exists, and you want to check, uh, like for example, sync delays or supplier changes or inventory settings. Now just check 
on your like for example you want to go to your i2ds dashboard and then check the products you can also remove it and re uh like upload it to your shopify store uh it's easy it's just one click and then you can then upload again the products you can also remove the products the product from your own shopify store and then import it again okay so hopefully this tutorial helped you i'm going to check here if the problem is solved or not i'm going to click on view on shopify as you can see uh, customers now will be able to purchase this product because the f the sold out button disappeared now it says here buy it now add to cart so hopefully this tutorial helped you if you have any questions let me know in the comments i try to reply to every single comment drop a like and see you